In this exercise, we're going to be creating a brand new tin surface from scratch. And the way that we begin that is by clicking on our C icon, then selecting new. Go ahead and navigate to your exercise folder. I've got a little shortcut here off to the side. And then I'm just going to select my surface drawing template. Then click open. Next, let's go ahead and create our surface. Go ahead up to your Home tab and then to your Create Ground Data panel. Select this little drop down next to Surfaces and select Create Surface. We get our little Create Surface dialog box. We're going to name our surface. We're going to call it EG for existing grade. We'll add a description. We'll call this existing ground surface from imported point data. Now remember that this imported data is information that we received from our field crew. Then I'm going to change my style by selecting this button with the three dots. Click that drop down menu and select points and border. Then click OK. Now the style is going to be changing the look of our tin surface. Now note that our tin surface is going to be placed on the C-topo layer. However, all of the components that make up our Civil 3D object are controlled by layers within a style. For example, if you go into the style, click the edit button, and go into display, you'll see that all of our components that make up that tin surface object are going to be placed on different more or less nested layers. So those layers are going to be baked into our Civil 3D object, but our entire object is going to be placed on the C-topo layer. So go ahead and click OK. And if you remember, if you go into your tool space and under settings, right click on your drawing and select edit drawing settings. Then go into your object layers then scroll down until you get to the tin surface. It's quite a ways down. It's right here and you can see that it's on the C-topo layer. If you wanted to change this, you can change it by selecting any one of these layers and then a tin surface will appear on that particular layer. Go ahead and click cancel then cancel one more time. Go into your prospector and if you expand the surfaces, you'll see our brand new EG surface. And then expand definition, you'll notice that it's empty. We have no definition, but we're going to be adding that in the next exercise.